I just don't want to be another female wrestler. I want to be the female wrestler. You know what I'm saying? As big as Hulk Hogan or The Rock, but the female of it. I believe there's so much magic as a kid. I had so many dreams, and I, I felt like I was almost outside of myself when I was a kid. Like, you're always skipping and like, yeah, you know, I'm going to do this when I'm older. I'm this. You don't have any doubts. You don't have any fears. You have a dream, and you know you, that's your dream, and you're just going to go after it and accomplish it. One of my coaches, Scott, he would say that I live in dreamland. <laughs> you're, you live in this world where, you know, dreamland and all this. And uh, I believe, I believe that uh, I am very childlike. <laughs> But then, you know, I can be very professional, I can be very business-like, it depends what my mood is. But for most part, for personal life and for my, for my everyday life, I like to stay as a child. Because as a child, you don't think of all the BS and you don't think of the drama and all this stupid crap that people let throw, flow through their heads. And it really does affect your life. So it causes stress. And the more BS you have running through your body, the more you're not going to be able to perform. You know, sometimes kids would come and knock at the door and they'd ask me, is Jamie a boy or a girl? And I'd say, well, she's a girl, but she likes to tell everybody she's a boy so she can play with the boys. And they'd go, oh, okay. And they'd walk away and think nothing of it. So, yeah, she's always been athletic, tomboyish, adventurous. The most important message today is love yourself. Accept yourself for who you are, what God made you, and life will be amazing. Don't worry about what other people say, what other people think. You think I do? I'll kick their butt. My biggest obstacle was my size, the look I had, the way I wrestled, the way I could talk on the mic, the charisma, the, the way I connected with the audience. That was more of a problem than just being gay. That was nothing. People didn't even care. Like nobody, it wasn't even a subject. I mostly wrestled guys my first couple of years, and like the China role, you know, like just get in there and beat the crap out of guys. And guys would resent me for it because I made the guys look like pussy ass bitches. <laughs> And that's, that was my biggest resentment because I could get in there and have this aura and this power and this dominance and, and take over and make the audience look at me. I'm in the ring. Screw this idiot I'm wrestling. Watch this. Boom. You know? And they hated me for that because I had that power to do that. But I never ever was going to let them, their jealousy and their, the way they treated me, uh, bring me down because I was like, it gave me more power. I used that as my fuel. So you hate me? Well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to throw it back at you by winning in here. She got a lot of comments about oh, you're a man, but she would play with it. She'd just actually turn around, bend over, rub her hand between her legs and go, there are no balls there. So, you know, she just threw it right back at them, whatever they gave her. So these kind of comments I used to feel bad for. I think, man, that's awful. You're a woman up there and you're being called a man, but she just gave it right back to them. How important are your fans when it comes to wrestling? The fans are the most important part of my job because it's them that are paying the tickets to come see us kick ass it's them that uh, you know they're tuning into the TV to watch us so the fans really determine your future so you better treat them like gold you're a wrestling fan I am a wrestling oh, fan yeah, that's How you doing? see there's a fan right here this is you guys are the most important part of our we, business we here. are yes I'm definitely yeah. a wrestling fan 100% I'm, a, I'm Jamie D I'm a wrestler I'm training with Hulk Hogan right now to become the female version of a Hulk Hogan you like that awesome you know he's the brother I'll Rip be the sister the shirt, everything yeah the girls that are sitting in the audience aren't your 105 pound blonde bombshell. So they're thinking in their minds, oh, I never have a chance to get in the ring. So when Jamie comes along and, you know, hitting the 200 pound mark, Jamie, and she's not this blonde bombshell in terms of a, a model that they usually hire, they're like, okay, this is great. This is a person I can relate to. So and I think that's what ha happened with the fans and Jamie, everyone just kind of meshed together. And uh, she's a fan favorite out there. Superstar Billy Graham taking me under his wing has been like, um showing me that, wow, my dream is actually happening and I couldn't even see it before. Like, he's my best friend. He's become my mentor, my father, my best friend, my brother, um, someone that I truly trust and believe in and I really listen to his advice. Uh, I have basically prepared you to be discovered and it's all falling into place and, 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 and you will succeed and you will be the new female Hulk Hogan, and you'll be wonderful. It'll be a lot of hard work, no doubt, but oh my God, I think that uh, my future looks bright, and I think that I haven't even scratched the surface with, of what I'm going to do in this world. And boy, let me tell you, everyone watching this film today in class, you guys will be fans. <laughs>